The main thing is just developing, really fine tuning her ball handling and her footwork. She's very skilled, but just like all young players, I mean, the main thing they really need is, is the ball handling and the footwork development. So it takes time, but she's definitely willing to put the work in. Well, the thing I like about going to skills with Coach John is that he always takes our weaknesses and makes us build on them. And he also knows what our strengths are. So whenever we are making mistakes or something and he knows how good we can be, he pushes us to work harder. And I really like that. One thing I've learned just as far as my playing experience and coaching and being around other great coaches, that's one of the main things they've always emphasized is attacking the feet and attacking those ankles. And the only way to do it is to, to work on it. You have to emphasize, you have to demand it every time you work with them, just so it just gets ingrained in their head. The dribbling helps me a lot. It helps me get stronger with my dribble so I don't get the ball stolen from me as much. It also helps me like know what to do more so if I get in a situation where I, I'm getting stuck or something, the, it's always easier to be able to dribble because once you can dribble pretty well, have a strong dribble, everything else is easier. Coach John always pushes us, literally pushes us and hits our arms so whenever we get in a game situation we won't be like flustered whenever we get hit or whenever someone knocks us down. And a lot of players, the thing that separates a good player and a bad player is when you know how to bounce back from like a, a no call or if you get hit and you still make the shot, you get an and one, that's one more point you can get if you don't have it. A lot of players can handle the ball when they're not being guarded, but the toughest thing is being able to handle the ball whenever they're being bumped, you know, being able to control the ball, you know, in, with contact and traffic. I had my tryouts for my school team and I just caught myself doing things I do in skills and I was like, oh my goodness, I just learned this last week and I, I'm able to incorporate it more into my game and not even realize it. It's the same stuff that, you know, that they do at the higher level, at the college, at the pros. I mean, you continue to do it. So the same things that you do when you're young, you have to do even when you're older. So I think it's, it's very big right now. She's come quite a, quite a ways in a short amount of time, i definitely say that. And I know she works on it on her own as well, which is very big because, I mean, you can do it in front of your coaches, but when you do it by yourself, that's when it counts the most. She's coachable. That's the, that's the main thing. She's very coachable. So whenever they're coachable, it doesn't matter. I mean, you, you can pretty much teach them all day, and they want to soak it up so much. And that's how KT is. But her skill level is definitely, uh, definitely be able to play at a, at a college level. Some of the positive things I do well is I always try to keep a good attitude because I feel like whenever you have a good attitude, it makes it easier for you to keep going. Um, I always work hard because I feel like if you work hard, it pays off in the end. Um, also, I like to get my teammates involved. I like to have my teammates pumped up because I feel like that's a big part of basketball is your team. You have to have good chemistry, have good attitudes, and it just helps you finish out the game stronger. It makes you want to play.